the Eribara is finally happening. Tens of thousands of sea turtles are making their way out of the world that they know and coming onto a foreign landscape to lay eggs. This female olive ridley sea turtle is one of life's winners. Starting out, she had about a 1% chance of making it into adulthood. She's possibly back at the same exact beach where she was born to lay her own eggs. Her species has been on the planet for over 65 million years. And one of the reasons they've survived is this mass synchronized nesting event. At one point, there were so many predators, either in the water or on land, that the turtles had to use overwhelming numbers to give themselves and their hatchlings a fighting chance. The Eribara will last for the next three days with the majority of the turtles coming up at night. But the first night, we didn't see any jaguars. Nothing. With last night being the first night of the Aribada, it would have been so easy for a cat to take one. But the next morning, Wilbur has some news. You got them? He's found the marks of a jaguar dragging a turtle. We're right by where the turtle graveyard is, where we came up on about six corpses a few days ago. This is where Wilbert and said that he saw the drag marks leading this way. So the turtle can't be too far away from this area right here. So I'm gonna go find the kill. And I guarantee that the kill is about 20 feet that way because that's where all the vultures are accumulated right now. Even though the vultures stripped a lot of this meat in the past 24 hours, there's still a lot left. So I think he's gonna come back. We're gonna set up somewhere in the clearing over here, pop the hide up, set all the camera gear up, set up the infrared lights, and just wait for him to come back.